as the title suggests, it's time to tidy up the alloys on our 2011 463 uh, 55. They're in excellent shape after a decade of service, but at some point, somebody's changed the caps. And these are supposed to get pushed out once the wheel is off. I think what's happened is somebody has jimmied them from the outside to replace them, damaged the clear coat, and then moisture's got under there. So on all four alloys on this car, which are a little bit dirty at the moment, there is this nasty clear coat um, loss. Now, the rest of the alloys are fine and looking good. So I don't want my kids crushed in the meantime, and I don't want the hoist copping and beating, so I've lowered the car into jack stands and keeping the hoist up a little bit in the interim. And I'm paranoid about tyre fitters damaging the alloys, so I'm going to get the alloy refurbisher to fit the four new tyres I've got um, at the time that he finishes the alloys, and here they are. I'll try and get to them all upside down, 275, 55, R19. See, brand new. And in this one you have a, uh, I think it's Yokohama Geolander Michelin Pilot Sport 4. Uh, one, two, three. And over on the new ones, there's actually four. Um, I'm not sure what that's all about. It's interesting that the, uh, the wear indicator, compared to most of my cars, it's worth in the center. Like that's connecting, that's time to go. But the outer edges are actually better on the G. Most of the cars I have, they always wear on the inner side because of the camber. Versus here, you know, it's like the uh, Death Star Canyon. Long way to go, so I'm glad I made that choice. So I wanted to clean the yellows even before I sent them off. I know they'll be sandblasted, but there's a lot of rubbish on there and it's also not nice to transport them dirty. It's kind of interesting how much grease was on the front wheels. The front swivel hubs leak a lot of grease on these Gs. And so I've cleaned that all off now. And you can see the insides is a light alloy color. Um, it's a sort of flat gray. And that's slightly different actually to what I got back. It was painted the same as the, the dark, which is not a problem. You'll see that later. Just showing you that, that lifted clear coat, um, which just didn't look nice on the car, which was otherwise very tidy. Might get four new tyres and five alloys in the GL in internally. I could have used the front seat maybe and done some damage, but um, in the end I've got two new tyres up top, and two news in the car, and five alloys in here. Now this is the space saver from the other. I just got that, actually someone was selling all their alloys cheap and this has never been used. So I'm going to see if they can machine this surface to the polish keep that like it otherwise should be and just turn that into a spare new alloy um, the tire is slightly different side never been used but you can see wherever it is 265 55 r19 so just a bit narrower i'm not quite sure on the significance of that anyway so new wheels and refurbed alloys are back so this is looking very good. We've got the new tires on there. And these, as uh, I've always come back from the Alloy Magic shop, look great. No more lifting of the clear coat. Now the center caps look shabby. Um, he's rebalanced them for me. Um, the one thing that's slightly different I see is he's painted the inside um, in the dark gray color versus what it was a sort of light grey before. This makes no difference whatsoever. So here we are. All is back and ready to go on. Looking great. Once again, no more rot or lifting of clear coat. The two layer or two colours have been put back into the car, into the wheels, they've been balanced. And the spare wheel which was all grey before, has been made to look like the others, which looks awesome. So if I'm going to the effort of taking the wheels off, I wanted to clean all the rotors and hubs. Um, and this iron remover, which a lot of companies make, but Gion makes a very good one. You spray it on there, agitate it with a brush, and then wash it off. Um, you don't need to 
way clean the, the road is, although you can do that, it just comes up a lot nicer. Um, and you actually see this through these big spaced alloys, so it's worth doing at the time, I think. On the 17, on the torque wrench, we've actually got 100 newton meters, so 100 newton meters, good, 100 newton meters. with how that's all turned out. The caliper's looking better inside. So now we're all good to go. Put our brand new tires on. New Scorpions. They're all good. New Scorpions are on. It's all good. Time to move.